If you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea, you've probably heard about CPAP and BiPAP machines. But what's the difference? And how do you know which one is right for you? In this video, we're breaking it all down so you can make the best choice for your sleep and health. First, let's start with CPAP. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. That means it delivers a constant stream of air at one fixed pressure to keep your airway open while you sleep. It's the most common and widely recommended treatment for sleep apnea. CPAP is usually prescribed for people with obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, which is when your airway collapses during sleep, causing you to stop breathing. The airway pressure from a CPAP machine acts like a splint, keeping your airway open so you can breathe normally. Some of the most popular CPAP machines right now include the Resmen AirSense 10 and the AirSense 11. These machines are known for their comfort features, quiet operation, and built-in humidifiers. CPAP is simple, effective, and works well for most people. But for some, especially those who struggle to sleep out against the pressure, CPAP can feel a little uncomfortable. Now, let's talk about BiPAP. BiPAP stands for Bi-Level Positive Airway Pressure, and as the name suggests, it delivers two different pressure levels. One when you inhale, and the lower one when you exhale. This makes it easier for people who find it hard to breathe out against a single pressure. BiPAP is usually prescribed for people with more complex breathing issues, or neuromuscular disorders that make it harder to breathe. If your doctor prescribes BiPAP, some of the top options include the Resmen Air Curve 10 and the Air Curve 11. These machines offer advanced comfort settings and even backup rate features for people with more serious conditions. Another big difference is that CPAP is usually more affordable, while BiPAP is often prescribed for more severe conditions. Also, CPAP is more widely available, while BiPAP may require additional medical testing to determine if necessary. Here's something many people don't realize. Most CPAP machines today are actually APAP machines, but we still call them CPAP. APAP stands for Automatic Positive Airway Pressure, and instead of delivering one fixed pressure like a traditional CPAP, APAP machines automatically adjust to two different pressure levels based on your breathing needs. This means that while you're sleeping, an APAP machine can detect when your airway is more open or more restricted and adjust the air pressure in real time. This makes them more comfortable and effective for many users. Most CPAP machines on the market today will adjust automatically. So when you hear CPAP machine, just know that most modern devices like the Resmed AirSense 10 and 11 are actually APAP machines working behind the scenes to keep your breathing steady. Now let's tackle some of the most common questions about CPAP and BiPAP. Can you switch from CPAP to BiPAP if you don't like your CPAP machine? Not necessarily. BiPAP is typically prescribed based on medical need. If you're struggling with CPAP, you might want to try adjusting the pressure settings or switching to an auto-adjusting CPAP. Is BiPAP better than CPAP? Not really, it's just different. CPAP is great for most people with obstructive sleep apnea. BiPAP is for people who need extra support. If your doctor hasn't prescribed the BiPAP, you probably don't need it. What if you still feel tired using a CPAP or BiPAP? This could be due to mass leaks, improper pressure settings, or another underlying issue. Be sure to check your data in the Meyer app if using an AirSense or AirCurve device, or talk to your doctor about making some adjustments. So, how do you know which one you need? At the end of the day, both CPAP and BiPAP are designed to help you breathe better and sleep better. The key is working with your doctor to find the right fit. I hope this helped clear up the differences between CPAP and BiPAP. If you're still unsure which machine is best for you, drop a comment below or check out our website where we have a full guide on CPAP versus BiPAP. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more CPAP tips.